Hey everyone, welcome to your final video in this Python tutorial series. First off, I wanted to say a special thank you to you guys for sticking through it, and would definitely appreciate a subscribe if you liked the series. Also, special thank you to this article series on the Django website. This really helped me build out a lot of the content for the last couple of videos. So if you want more information, you can check that out. Lastly, just again, if you need any of the code, for example, in the Django section, you can get that here. I'm not gonna go through it all, just cause it, it was a lot of information and to review it, I'd literally have to redo all of the videos because <laughs> it would take a while. With that, I pretty much just wanted to conclude and get your guys' opinion on what kind of content you would like to see next. And some of the specialties for Python is, well, obviously web development, if you think a Django series would be appropriate, or data science and analytics is huge with Python. If that's something you think would be cool, let me know. Maybe it's data structures and algorithms. There's all kinds of different things you can do with Python. I think if you're still interested in learning more Python, first off, check my channel. Probably gonna release more series in the future. And also, I would encourage you to try to expand on Django and start building an API. So create an API to work with your books database and then create front-end applications to consume that API. So in that situation, you could have a back-end that is shared among a web application, a desktop application, a mobile application, a console application, a watch application, and it could all share the same data. As long as the application can make a web request, then it can use that API and you can have a consistent back-end for your applications. Oh, I'm starving. Can you guys hear my stomach? I'd also look into continuous integration. I'd look into deploying to AWS or something like that. I do have a video on deploying Node.js, which is different. However, a lot of the principles are gonna be the same if you need to understand the concepts. And it'd also be good practice for you guys. All right, so that's the end of the series. I was gonna do some review, but then I realized, hey, I already did 99 videos. I don't really feel like doing any more. What's a good calm video gonna hurt anybody? All right, so stay tuned for the next series. And again, leave a comment, let me know what you'd like to see. I'm gonna go probably find something to eat, maybe a 12 pack of donuts or uh, some spinach, whichever sounds better. All right, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next series.